Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to a new episode of TV Mean. Sorry about the buttons. <laughs> uh, this is kind of a specialty episode, um, mostly because. How old are these? Uh, this one is from Black's Ferry uh, out of West Columbia, Texas. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Texas is my home state. Um, and uh, a little bit about them. Uh, they were established in October of 2017, so fairly new. Um, like I said, located in West Columbia, Texas, uh, which served as the first capital of the Republic of Texas during the 1800s. Um, Black's Ferry specializes in fruity and floral beverages that are a combination of honey, water, and yeast. Um, the two owners, or two of the owners, uh, Calvin and Terica, uh, have turned their hobby into a growing, successful mead business. Um, the company adheres to the ancient art of mead making. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They got these uh, <laughs> like little glass toppers for their bottles. Sorry, easily that's, abused. Uh, that's new. <laughs> um, the company chooses several honeys, organic fruits, spices, and flavors to create unique, delectable mead beverages. Uh, the mixture is fermented and steeped with fruit, fruit pulp and other natural flavorings, resulting in an 8 to 19% alcohol content. Um, each owner brings skills for production, operation, and customer service. Uh, they have award-winning meads. The group has entered the mead in fairs, competitions, and tastings where the product was praised for the taste and flavor selections. The company also has the benefit of a professional with extensive experience in environmental toxicology where the aspect of raising bees and producing organic honey is the business goal. Um, in addition, the company owners are all seasoned professionals with strong customer service skills. Um, so we had a few issues getting the mead. Um, Namely, they, they don't so they don't ship to California. So if you're here in California, you'll have to find another way to get it into the state. Um, I had it ordered and then picked it up on my way when I went to uh, Missouri. Um, you were allowed to trans what is it transport a small amount for normal consumption? Yeah, something like that, but not for redistribution, um, which we wouldn't do anyway because we're going to drink it. Um, but yeah, so I picked up uh, what what they were able to send me, um, and it, it's, I understand things happen, um, but I would like to thank uh, the people at Black's Ferry for uh, staying in contact as far as you know every all the hangups that happen with the order, and um, I understand you know other people put orders in and kind of had to change some stuff around. So I appreciate you know everything you guys did for did for this. Um, and uh, maybe we can do a revisit and, excuse me, try the other ones uh, at a later date. Well, depending on how things line up, we got to go through Texas to get yeah. there. So yeah, there is a possibility we could come down. Yeah. So that would be cool. Um, be a cool experience. Oh, yeah. All right. So I guess the first one actually is right by you. It's a traditional. Okay. So this is their traditional meat. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like, honey, yeast, and water. Um, Let's see if I can find a little thingy on it. That is really cool. The little glass stoppers are really cool. That's a new thing for us that we haven't seen another company do. Uh, so this one comes in a 375 milliliter bottle. So this is that's a half. Um, comes in at about 14 percent and if my phone will load sorry it's been, a <laughs> been kind of a day yeah all right um made with 100 percent local brazoria county wildflower honey cool. now the great thing is you can see through the side of the bottle the color of this mead you can see how clear it is um it's extremely clear and uh, it's got this beautiful kind of orange really kind of bronze color. Um, almost kind of like bourbon. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> got like a bourbon coloring to it. Right. Half 
absolutely beautiful smell. Almost a little mm. uh, tartness at the end of the yeah. smell. But it definitely has that kind of floral honey smell to it, which is what you would expect from a traditional. With a little bit of a bite. I like that. And that initial bite, and then it goes real mm -hmm. smooth, real yep. velvety. Yeah. It's got a real nice, soft texture that just kind of coats everything. Yeah, we're going to go on that one. Yeah, That's I bet that one will be really good when it's cold. Good. That is um, definitely worth the wait. Oh yeah. Oh, I took it a little quick there. <laughs> All right. I guess orange blossom then. Yeah, that'll probably be the next. The next All right. One. So this one is a orange blossom mead, same size bottle with the, the clear topper on it, uh, coming at sixteen percent. Uh, trying to find any thingy on it. And it's it's not going to be on the label. Uh, It'll probably be on their web page. Go ahead. Set us up there. Uh, 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 Alright. Um, uh, Me made with uh, orange blossom honey steeped in orange blossom petals leaving a floor a floral effect. Floral effect. Okay. Alright. So as you can tell, this one is like not it. as dark. It's a more pale color. Um, kind of what you would expect from a, uh, an orange, orange blossom. Yeah. Honey. Uh, honey. It's got a little, yeah, that I can, floral yeah, smell. that little floral citrusy kind of smell. Ooh. It's got a, so due to some technical difficulties, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> gonna have to do a little bit of a reshoot. Yeah, at least on on a little bit. But yeah. uh, um, anyway, so uh, before the mishap, uh, we were talking about the orange blossom uh, mead, um, and uh, you know it's got the like I was saying, it's got that nice kind of you know, citrusy, floral smell, like they, what they were talking about. Right. You know, which is nice. Well, and then um, with them having the, the uh, petals in there, that's going to give you that floral or so. Right, it. right. All right. Oh. Um. Yeah, tangerine or the, the Ooh, cuties, cuties. That sort of flavor. You know, not like the, uh, like you were saying, the, uh, like the, the candy orange yeah, slices. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably not so much. I think I would rather keep it to like natural kind of orange, like citrusy flavors. Yeah, more real. Yeah. Um, less artificial. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, very, very smooth, very beautiful in the palate. Yeah. Um, so a nice kind of, like you are saying, velvety kind of texture. Yeah. Um, I almost want to say he did it like some some butchered orange chicken. Or even make a use as the base for the sauce. Actually, yeah, that'd probably be pretty good. Um, we do have them wings coming. That would require us to not break it. That's not gonna happen. Oh, all right. Next, it does get a little bit more bitter if you take it in a big bowl. Yeah, it definitely, definitely a sipper. Yeah. So the next and last but not least, we have the mango lime. Yes, mango lime. Let's see. Uh, so this was kind of. Ooh. Mango and lime intertwine to create a melody of deliciousness. One of our best. So that's what they're they're so, saying on their on their website. Well, so. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, you gotta take the top off. Well, that's not the right bottle. <laughs> there we go. So I was kind of 
hesitant, or I'm kind of hesitant about this one because I'm not the biggest fan of mango, um, like natural mango flavor. Um, and so I'm kind of curious to see how the lime and the mango fit together. Yeah. So I get an initial smell of lime and then um, like a tinge of mango. Um, it's, it's definitely very, very citrusy, very, uh, not, I wouldn't really say floral, but very citrusy. It's very sharp. All right, so I get almost all mango with a touch of lime and with that big nose in the cup snort throughout the mango. Mm. Ooh. So, definitely get a tartness with it mm -hmm. from that line. Yeah. The main, I, I'm getting mango pretty much throughout. Yep. But, oh, that's, that's, that's sweet for me. Uh, I almost got like this kind of, not quite key line, but kind of, so, kind of close to it. But just like this really nice lime flavor, and then it mellowed into that mango, but I could still taste the lime, you know, around it. Yeah, I, I'm, I, yeah, oh, I almost said that. Feedback on that. Yeah. That tastes. It, uh, uh, not as good as me. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a like a key lime pie with like chunks of mango in it. Mm -hmm. That is. Decadent. You gotta hold it in your mouth. That is incredible. I am <clears throat> very pleasantly surprised oh, at yeah. how at how well those two flavors have paired. Together. But it is it does it, if you don't like tartness, it's might not, not be it's probably not gonna be the one for you. But uh, um, it's it's definitely key lime pie with with booze in it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, a little bit of mango. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, well, I guess uh, let's get into uh, the final thoughts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Overall, I think I'm very pleasantly impressed. Um, I, you know, I like the fact that they're using the local materials that they can get their hands on. You know, so that's, that's a big part of that. Um, you know, their traditional is very nice, very smooth. It definitely has that kind of floral, uh, honey smell, and very, very nicely flavored. Um, orange blossom tends to be kind of a favorite for me, just because you can. It's it's usually pretty sweet, um, but it's light, and um, it's got like that that natural kind of orange flavor behind it, which is always good. And you can, you know, it's it's very well paired with uh, oranges or you know, cuties. Yeah. And then that, that mango lime, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of mango, but that that is an incredible pairing that you know like is very pleasantly surprising. Um, you, know, you get that nice kind of sharp lime flavor at first, and then you just that burst of mango that sits there. You know, it's it's very very nice. Uh, it's well crafted, and so far I think I would say it probably is their best. Or oh, one of their best. Yeah, out of the ones we tried, that, that's absolutely amazing. Um, well, my big thing is I like that they're getting honey from the local area. You know, helps helps with the beekeepers, helps with the the local economy, local environment. Mm -hmm. But they're still pushing into the rest of the country. You know, right? And uh, with that, you know, the the traditional, absolutely beautiful, nice and smooth. The orange blossom, uh, you know, you, you get that you get the orange and that floral taste all the way through, nice mm -hmm. and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then that mango lime, uh, it just, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of key lime pie. And, yeah, same. Yeah, same. that could definitely get uh, get taken care of quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah. So. Well, I know that they have other ones uh, on their website that we can order. Um, so we will definitely be doing 
for part two, probably within the next year, um, and uh, very possibly doing it at <laughs> doing it at a uh, secret location. Yes, yes, um, out in the woods. So uh, yeah. we'll be able to bring bring the table back. Bring the table back. There you go. <laughs> I can talk. Um, <laughs> so which one are you thinking? Uh, like I said, I think uh, I think that mango lime. We're gonna save that one for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna take that orange blossom, which probably means you'll want that traditional. Most definitely. Um, I really I love you. that cap. Yeah, I do too. I'm not gonna bother with the glass. Well, as always, be great to one another. Drink responsibly. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah.